What's up, guys? I'm here with Foul Talk Limited. It's pitch black out. It's late at night. I have been balls to the walls making holsters today. And I'm getting to this rush order that I'm doing. And it's for the Smith & Wesson 10 millimeter, But it's for the Performance Center. If you don't know what it looks like, it looks like this. And they don't make a mold for it. So I had to. So here we go right here. If you're new to the holster making and you have a multi-molds or an on-target or any other mold, that is the 45 ACP version. It is the same dimensions as the 10 millimeter. Now, if this was not the Performance Center, this would be the 4.6 inch, uh, fully blocked and ready to go for the 45 and 10 millimeter. But because the Performance Center, I had to go ahead and make um, a compensator. For it. So this is the factory built-in compensator. Now I did exaggerate the dimensions a little bit. I know uh, overall length is 8.6 inches from beaver tail to the tip. So uh, what I did is this right here is actually 9 inches. So I did it um, by almost half an inch longer because I'm actually going to do an open muzzle at the bottom just in case there's any variances in it because I obviously don't have it here. But what I did is I took the firearm picture on the screen and I literally lined up the gun on it to uh, so it was the same size from the ejection point to the bottom of the um, the rail. And then I pretty much made this out of uh, scrap pieces that I make the widgets out of. So I spent the last like hour or two machining this by hand. And um, we are going to make an appendix holster with sidecar for the Performance Center, a lot longer than 4.6 inch barrel, 10 millimeter. And stay tuned for the ride. Now this particular one has the Balder Pro R on it, so I have to grab that, which is this one right here. Uh, the Balder Pro R is longer than the Balder Pro, and it's not compatible, so just keep that in mind because I get a lot of people that make mistakes with it. So let's do it. And we have the Balder Pro R mounted. It actually looks pretty damn close to the picture that was sent to me by the customer. So I am actually looking forward to the end outcome of this. I did match it up. There's a little bit of a... Uh, uh, a little bit of a step right here. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, a lot of the tape's going to cover that up. So I'm literally, like I said, I'm just going to keep it as it is and, and whatnot. Because this right here is going above and beyond. Because, like I said, no molds are available. And it was either cut it right here and have the entire barrel sticking out um, like this. And then come around to do this. Or cut it here and go straight down and see how it looks and i honestly would rather this because it is a part of the slide it's not an additional attachment so we have our light widgets which again can be purchased right here i usually keep them in stock uh, so we're going to go ahead and mount those up right there um, and then i also have to do suppressor height sights because that's what it comes with uh, so I'm going to shave this real quick to make it so it's flat because it's at a little bit of an angle. And then we'll go ahead and mount this on there. All right, this looks pretty damn good. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this on. Let's grab some tape here. And when I'm doing this, I don't know if you can notice it, but I'm putting my thumbs on each side and pushing down, and then I'm pushing my thumbs into it so it stays like that, and then I'm pushing it down in. So push, boom, and that makes it so there's no tenting. And then the very back one that's going to get cut off, I go ahead and I just put all the way down, but with this blocking. It's a little bit different. All right. And we're going to go ahead and bank five layers on each side. And we're going to keep in consideration that we have controls here and controls here. And as far as the belt mount, we're doing DCC clips, which are insanely expensive. And uh, here they are right here. Very, very sturdy setup. And now that I finally have them in, we can go ahead and 
get these together. So it's going to be right around, uh, right around that area above the light. And so, um, but like I said, this is appendix and right-handed, so it's going to go on the other side. But let's take care of that at a different time. Cut the section for the safety. Like so. And yeah, you could cut that out. And rinse and repeat. And you don't have to start on any particular side, but whatever side you feel comfortable with. And remember, we have blocking that's got to go right there. And then blocking that's got to go right there. So you can't extend more. Really not that big of a deal. But I'm going to go ahead and grab some of the steel bars. And also, if you couldn't hear it, I do have the ovens on and the foam is warming up. This is going to sit just like this right here. And that sits a little bit lower than I'd like. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and put it in that. So that sits higher, like so. Bam. Throw a piece of tape right here just so it doesn't flop over. Oh, and uh, we're going to need that blocking shortly. And do the same thing on this side. Well, this side, see, this side's perfect because there's no um, handle that that sits on. So that sits nice and good. And I'm go ahead and get the tape to go across it. So I'm pushing down on the blocking and pulling up on the tape. And then locking it in place, so to speak. And I'll usually, so I'll pull and, and push from one side, and then I'll do the exact opposite with the next piece of tape. And then after which, I tape the two pieces of blocking together this way, and that helps them stay together and not become wonky. So we'll do that. All right, so that's a lot of what is needed right there. So it's pretty good so far. Let's see here, I'm gonna take this, cut that there so I can fold this in on both sides. There we go. All right, and then the uh, blocking area for the magnetic um, charger, you need to block that, you must block it. If you don't block it, it's gonna hang up every time you go to holster and we don't want that ah, excuse me 
All right. Uh, don't forget, we have blocking on this side. It's going to extend to right around here. So, but in all honesty, it's not going to matter. Where is it? There we go. It's not going to matter how long this blocking is because it's, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to tape that in place right there. That'll be our blocking for this side. Vada bing. All right. Now this side, I'm going to need the blocking for this, which is this right here. And so if I'm holding the firearm, you don't want to, you know, if this is too high, you have to reach in your belt. That sucks. If we go too low, it's going to be too high and it's going to flop. Plus, it's going to dig into your gut when you sit. So what I do is I put the top of this in line. So we got my knuckle here and the top of the belt. So we're going to be right around there. So I'll take this and we're going to tape that right there in place. holes in them all right so that is pretty much done for this side which is no big deal and uh, what I got to do is I got to make the uh, retention plate now so but to make that retention plate just a little bit easier we're just gonna do this there we go oh and oh we can't forget we need that blocking right there so thank you guys for reminding me let's see here that blocking is straight. That's going to go to about here. Um, but this is going to be cut this way. So, let's see here. Our mar is going to be right about there. It's going to be cut to there. And so, from that point, it's going to cut, bam. So, that is perfect as it sits right there. Okay, now I'm ready to trace it. Okay, so uh, this is going red on the bottom and black on the top. Nice. Nice deep red right here. It's going to look absolutely killer. And I'm looking forward to see how this is coming out. But I'm going to go ahead, trace it, and cut it out. It is a quarter inch MDF from my local Home Depot. And what I do is I trace it with the um, June Gold Deep Reach Marker. And then I go ahead and cut it on the scroll saw. Everything is all set plate is mounted got the red here got the black here and if you notice my presses are closed we got press one press two and they're closed because i'm getting the moisture out of them and i'm preheating the pads at the same time that way when they go in they're going to get a crisp 390 degrees before they come out and uh they are going to press beautifully so uh, i'm going to let those uh, warm up i got 130 seconds left on each press put the kydex in but by the time you guys see it it's going to look like this oh actually i lied i lied uh when that's in the press I'm gonna go ahead and do the magazine part uh, on the vac, and then you'll see what it looks like. So, <sighs> mm -hmm. we have both sides that we need, and I'll be drilling these. I'm gonna be drilling this side well this side as in the MRD because the clip is gonna be going down here so we don't have to worry about that right now right and then what I do is I cut out right here the outside edge on both of them quick and at this point all I do is we're gonna have to screw this in oh else if I get the right one okay. 
And red's the bottom, so red's gonna have the nut. And I already, I think I thought I drilled these already. Apparently, apparently I didn't drill this. Thought I did. I guess not. You got to drill it or you have to get um, specialty Chicago screws or the threaded posts. I drill them because that's just another thing I'd have to add to my inventory and I really don't want to do that. And at this point, put those two in. Just start one, start the other, put in, this is a, it's a 45 double stack. There we go. Tape adds a little retention, so I got I should peel that tape off. But there's that, and honestly, I'm going to wait on the rest because there's not much more I'm going to do because uh, I'm not sure where we're going to put all this stuff yet. Uh, but I do know this is going to be around this area right here, and we have the spacer for it, so it's going to sit just like that. So uh, it's probably been enough time for that to come out of the press, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that. Oh, 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 oh. It's out, and uh, I was like, please look good, please look good, please look good. And you know what? It looks damn good. So, I used a little bit more material than I needed to do, which I like doing that in this case. But, here's one side right here, so you can see. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. And then, of course, the back side right here. Those lines, that's from the foam. One, they're getting cut out. Two, you're not going to notice them at the end, because I still have to heat this up and bend it. And once you heat it up to do that, they disappear. So, but there is, so you got your retention right there that blocking we put in for the side controls and then this is the piece that we built and uh, that I installed and it just looks killer. Yeah, so there you go. So, I don't think it gets more custom than this, at least in this round, you know, modifying that mold and whatnot, but let's go ahead, mark out where we want it and then go from there and uh, I'm gonna cut this down right here real quick that way I can get the um, clamps on so we can go ahead and drill the holes with our spaces probably gonna do five eyelets in that and then we're gonna do um, probably two minimum of two because this is gonna have a wing on it and then possibly a third but we're gonna have pretty good retention on this and uh, you know honestly I'm not worried one bit I'm looking forward to it I grabbed the blue gun right here this is the uh, full size but it's the 40 uh, it's a little bit shorter it's definitely not the 4.6. I actually think this is the four and a half, but I'm only gonna use it so I can see where the grip is. That way I can put my line in here without opening it up first because I don't want to do that just quite yet. We can, but I really don't want to. So, so we're still gonna do, I am, like I said, gonna do open bottom. So just in case, because I don't have, physically have this, and that's gonna come down like that, and we're gonna go off this way. We know this is going to come up like so. We still have to see. Probably going to have more than five, um, but we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, RMR follow up right there. So we're going to go right here, and also we can see where that body line is. So the RMR stops right there. But we're going to be coming down right about there, and then follow that angle. All right, and then I will take this. Let's put that right there. Do we need a sixth? We can if we want to, but let's do this. Come up with that. Like so. And then all I'm doing here is lining up the back of the slide. And you know, we're going to be in that area right here. And we're coming down. All right, you know, we're drilling here, drilling here, drilling there, which means our retention, first one, needs to be right there. But, oh, there it is. So we got one, two, 
and that's going to go there. And as you can see, that lines up like so. And we got plenty of room for the purchase. After the fact, this is going to come here. We're going to go up like halfway between here and here. So like halfway up the grip and come down like that. And that'll be cut secondary. So we're going to go ahead. Bam. So we got one right here. I'll drill those five, drill these two, drill those three, and then cut it out. So it is a quarter of the way there. Honestly, the hard part is done. I'm not gonna lie, it's like nine o'clock right now and I'm getting a little hungry. All right. Now before I do anything, because this is pretty much fused together, eyelets are gonna get installed and then I'm going to pull apart, pull the gun out, and then I'll cut everything. And as you see, I pulled everything off of this along with this, so here's the inside, so it could fit the um, this barrel there, and then bada bing. So that's off, and I'm just doing that for test fits because we know it's on here. So uh, I'm just gonna verify where that line is and see if I like it. See, from this moment it looks way off, so I'm glad I didn't do anything right there. Put that on. Oh, actually, no, that was pretty good. Yep, yeah, pretty much in the same spot. So I'm going to cut it away from the line at first, and then we'll work our way in. But I still need to drill, drill, drill. Be careful, don't drill through the whole thing or hit the other side, at least on this one. And on these, obviously, drill all the way through. And good hole cleaning. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut what I need to do. I'm bringing this with me so I could check it to make sure that area is still good. Cause it's a lot easier to do it on the band saw than it is on any other saws or uh, sanders. And here is a rough cut on the holster. It looks pretty damn good to be honest with you. I am loving it. So the cut I did was actually pretty good. Gonna bang. Uh, but I'm going to be, oh, this is all going to get sanded out, so I'm not too worried about it right there. And then you got full coverage, pretty good. RMR sits right here. I have zero complaints. And as you can see, there's a lot to left and a lot of, a lot of room in there for that extension. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this all up on all the toys here. And we'll finish this side, get the hardware on, and then we're going to marry it to this one. A little rub down of our final shape here. Inside and out, all dust and debris, all the FOD out. FOD is FOD, foreign object and debris. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to grab the hardware I need for this and this, Oop. those. And we have, and we have all the hardware. Okay, let's get some assembly going the claw together a couple of good duggas we're gonna take our pass-throughs oh nope let's get this on first because it's much easier when you have fat hands
drill down. And we're going to load it up with the rubbers. And then these two right here. And don't over tighten one, you know, just work them down. Right now. Oh, oh yeah. And just keep in mind that that real tension will change ever so slightly once I bend this because it does change the dimensions a little bit, but that is right on the money could not be happier all right let's throw this on that should be good all right now throw that in oh, that just feels so good we're gonna throw this in and generally I'll line it up to the top here and then that and I'll mark one of the holes so let's go out a little bit do it right there I'm gonna go down here. Yep, I like that right there. And same thing. So I'm gonna come out just a little bit to add a little bit of width to that. Actually, you know what? Now we're gonna bother with the pencil. I'll just drill them. this point we know that's going to be here so I'm going to continue so this is going to be cut like so there's going to be one right here So I do it, and then we're going to have, I'm going to go ahead and cut this real quick. So once we have that right there, we need to line this up, oh, see, which is going to go a little bit lower, right about there. All right, so, got it right there. there which means we need to come out and then go up there we go and I'm just gonna do a double check so that's gonna sit right there be right here it's gonna be lined up yep go ahead and drill those three and don't forget to clean your holes All right, now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna spread it apart, blow air in there, get all the crap out of there, and I'm gonna set all these eyelets. And then at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. Big straight lines on the bandsaw, this on the scroll saw. And once you are trimmed, cut, and ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and get all these edges squared up, round off, and, uh, cleaned up which means buffed edges beveled and all that fun stuff and we're going to be ready to throw it on looking good all right ladies and gents we are 
ready to rumble. What I do is I'm going to throw this in here because that goes with it. And i got to clean this real quick. Get the pencil marks off. Get some crap off of it. Oh, almost forgot. The Allen wrench to tighten it. Goes with it as well. And just gotta get the hardware for this, and then they go in together. Right, just gonna take the, that's a half inch post, this is a half inch spacer. We're gonna throw this up. Square that up. There we go. And if I had red paracord, I would use it, but I don't. So we're going to use some blackity black. Don't talk back. Give yourself plenty to work with. Tie this part in a knot here and as close as I can to the edge. It's almost time for new lighters. And flatten it out. Go on. And the other side, I pull taut. And then when I melt this end, melt it to a point like so so it's easy to go through yeah it's gonna melt on you but here's what it is so pull through the bottom here and then what I do before anything I scrap I pull and that sets the knot even more you don't want to pull these super taut because you're still gonna want to be able to work getting through them I mean, not ridiculously loose either. All right, that's one way. So now we got to bridge these gaps, which means we need to push it down and this is where that needle part comes in handy Oop. that always sucks when that happens and sometimes you'll have to like twist it because it'll try to like knot up on you and you don't want that all right last hole it's in, and then this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull the very first one, and I'm going to put my finger on it. Pull the second one, put my finger on it. Pull the third, put my finger on it. Fourth, put my finger on it. Fifth, put my finger on it. This one. Sixth. Put my finger on it. Seventh. Finger on it. And then eighth. And now we got tight and tight. And then we're going to tie this up. But I just realized I forgot to do something. So I'm going to have to pull all this out. So it's a good thing I caught this. I forgot to bend. The pistol side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick because 
You don't want to do it with this on. Oh, you can. It's just it's a lot harder because you start melting other things. All right. All right. So, BRB. All I do is I put this in the vise. I heat up right here, right here, and just, pink, just kink it a little bit. Now that that's fixed, let's do that again. close together for this one. It's easier when you pull them apart though. All right, there we go, because now I'm not gonna be able to get my hand in there. There we go. Six and seven. All right, now at this point, I'm going to hold the paracord down here and I'm going to persuade the knot to tighten up down there, like so. Not the end. And squish it down so it doesn't untie. I'll give it a quick blow. Have a gorgeous sidecar for a 10 millimeter Smith & Wesson Performance Center with Olight Balder Pro R, DCC Mono Clips, MRD, Blood Red, and a whole bunch of goodness. Oh yeah. Thank you guys for following me on this journey. I mean, making this to fit this, to make this for this was quite time consuming. So it is now 9.30, which means I got about four hours, actually about, about five hours into this holster um, with everything, all the prep and making the uh, jigs and all that stuff. So, but uh, this is just the satisfaction right here. And uh, you know, I can't be happier. I love the lines on it. I love how it came out and it is going all the way to Milwaukee. So that'll be out in tomorrow's mail. And the only thing I have left to do is uh, just do a little Faltac symbol right here. Cause I can't laser on the red cause it doesn't come out right. So, um, but thank you guys for watching. This was definitely a journey and I was a little nervous, uh, cutting the plastic material to fit the muzzle on this. And it, it opens up more ideas with, uh, replicating comps and stuff like that. So I can actually, you know, go over the comp and add that stuff in the future. But like I said, the few hours it took to cut this and, you know, cleaning it up and all that stuff is something I'm going to work on slowly and I'll eventually add all that stuff uh, for things to do. So in the meantime, uh, I'm going to go in, grab a quick bite to eat, let the dogs out. Like I said, it is 930, so I'm going to move on to the next build and just going to keep on trucking, take a nap, and do it again. So I appreciate you guys. Huge shout out to Holster Smith and Knife Kits for providing everything you see here in this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Enjoy. <laughs>